Dragon's Den fans are about to welcome a new dragon to the panel, and she's got some serious Hollywood connections. Emma Greed, 41, has led a truly extraordinary life, rising from a poor college dropout to a millionaire entrepreneur who has worked alongside one of the most famous families on the planet. A towering figure in the world of business and fashion, Emma has helped build some of the most iconic clothing brands of the 21st century. She is also passionate about opening up opportunities to those with brilliant ideas, advocating for inclusivity in both her work and philanthropic ventures. As Emma makes her Dragon's Den debut, we take a look at her glamorous life after joining forces with the Kardashian clan, including her amazing net worth. Early life lessons raised by a single mother in Plastow, East London, Emma was business-minded from an early age, taking up a paper round at age 12 so she could afford fashion magazines. Opening up about her upbringing with life coach Jay Shetty on his podcast On Purpose, Emma revealed that didn't know anyone that owned their own business growing up, however, she did learn some very important life lessons from her mom. Emma shared, I really value myself and I really value my goals, and I don't think, success, is much more complicated than that. I was taught that by my mom, who was very much like, listen, Emma, you're not better than anybody else, but nor is anyone better than you. College dropout determined to turn her love of style into a lucrative career. Emma enrolled as a business studies student at the London College of Fashion, interning for dream designers such as Gucci. After just six months, however, Emma decided to drop out. Explaining her decision in an interview with Soho House, Emma revealed, I was a poor kid, I needed the money. I did a work placement and learned more in two weeks than I had in a whole term at college. By this point, Emma was already doing sponsorship deals for brands, including Julian McDonald and Nokia, and her career continued to skyrocket. After working for a fashion show production company for a few years, Emma launched independent talent brand, ITB, in 2008, a marketing and entertainment agency that connected brands with talent. Looking back on this pivotal moment in her life during an interview with the Evening Standard, Emma recalled, I was 24, my job was to make friends with managers, agents, publicists, that's how you get a deal done. London was amazing at that point. You had Christopher Kane, Aradam, Mary Catrance of first season shows and I was out there doing sponsorships with people I admired. It was scrappy, it meet someone in marketing and say, I have an idea for you. It was about getting in however I could. Paving the way in 2021, Emma made history after becoming the first black woman to serve as an investor on Shark Tank, the American version of Dragon's Den. Speaking with ABC News at the time, Emma described the appointment as a dream come true. Explaining her personal mission for the show, she continued, It's much more about supporting women, black women, founders of color, that's really what I was focused on. We all know the stats, the investment and the fundraising is low on the ground for certain groups, especially women and so for me, that was really my focus. Emma is also chairwoman of the 15% Pledge, an initiative founded in 2020 that encourages retailers to dedicate 15% of shelf space to black-owned brands. In a speech given at the recent 15% Pledge Gala, where attendees were asked to stick to a black tie black designer dress code, Emma said, part of why we set this dress code every year is so you, our community of supporters, can understand firsthand just how difficult it is to access black brands. 
It's an experience that encapsulates our mission at the pledge to bring black business to the forefront of consumers' minds and close the racial wealth gap. Joining forces with the Kardashians through her marketing agency work, Emma was able to make connections in very high places, including with the world's most famous momager, Kris Jenner, who she got to know while attending fashion shows. The pair became close, and one day Emma decided to pitch the reality star her idea for Good American, an inclusive, bang-on-trend denim brand that caters to women of all shapes and sizes. Emma believed the venture would suit Chris' daughter Khloe Kardashian, and made it clear she wanted the third eldest Kardashian sister as her business partner. The business proved to be a roaring success from day one, pulling in £800,000 £1 on the first day of sales alone, the biggest denim launch in fashion history. Explaining why she and Khloe make such a great team, Emma told Glamour, we both make decisions, but we make different decisions. Chloe and I have been really good at knowing where one of us is stronger than the other one. Chloe is not in there making decisions about e-com and logistics. That's not what she's good at, but by the same token, when it comes to social media and understanding marketing, she's really good at those things. She's spent the last 16 years at the heart of American culture and she really gets that. I think that's what we're good at, knowing where each other's strengths are. In 2018, Emma teamed up with Kim Kardashian to launch her wildly successful shapewear brand, Skims, which was valued at £3. $2 billion, $4 billion by Forbes in July 2023. Opening up about what it's really like to work with the Kardashians, Emma told Yahoo! Finance, there is no one better than the Kardashian family to really connect with popular culture, but when you break that down, what does it mean? It's an understanding of women, of consumers and what they might want to buy. Eye-popping net worth and glam life Emma Greed is married to Swedish entrepreneur Jens Greed, who she tied the knot with back in 2012. In 2017, the couple made the move from London to Los Angeles, where they are raising their four children, Gray, 10, Lola, 7, and twins Lake and Rafferty, 2. On top of their 19 million pounds, $24 million, Bel Air Estate, in 2022, Emma and Jens paid £36 million, $45 million, for a Malibu home previously owned at different points by two of America's most famous couples, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie, and Ellen DeGeneres and Portia de Rossi. Forbes reports that Emma has amassed an incredible net worth of £253 million, $320 million, earning her spot no. 84 on their list of the richest self-made women in America. You can catch Dragon's Den this evening, February 7, on BBC One at 8pm. Follow Mirror Celebs and TV on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads. Do you have a story to share? Email me at julia.banim at reachbook.com.